Well, that was a good uh, win, uh, pragmatic and back to the sort of Wolves that we've seen in previous months of this season. I think the, over the last couple of weeks we've stumbled and we've stuttered over some of the results, but today they were back to their bit fluid best uh, in attack, I think. Uh, and the scoreline of 1-0 really flattered Ipswich because they were really poor. Um, considering that only a couple of weeks ago they came to Molyneux, you'd have thought they'd have learned from some of the mistakes. But they didn't really, and they were extremely uh, poor and lacklustre. And Wolves took advantage of that and should really have scored more goals. Chances in the second half that were squandered. Uh, glad in the end that we didn't look back at them and rue them. But Costa looked good in spells. Jota looked superb today. Uh, I think the vitamin D obviously really, really helped him this week. And Cavaliero, I think, for the first time this season, or certainly for a long time, we've seen him start in a game and playing well for a long period. Uh, the defence of course, really happy with them, they're barely worth mentioning anymore because they do such a good job. Uh, Neves and Undai in midfield were great again, Neves obviously, uh, but Undai I think showed that he's growing as a player as well. We saw against Swansea in the first game in the FA Cup uh, that he held that midfield role by himself uh, with a uh, partner. And he came in for size today and did a really, really good job. I think he kept things going really well and and helped build attacks and helped stop it, stop Ipswich attacks. I think he played really well. The only thing I would say today, and I have mentioned it about the missed chances, the one from uh, Costa where Jota had really done well to get to the byline and pull it back slightly behind Costa. Not Costa's fault. I think Jota should have shot. Uh, in hindsight, of course, it's easy to say that, but at the time, it felt like the right thing to do. It felt like it was definitely going in if it went to Costa, but then you're risking a pass going awry and the pace of which the attack was going, it was, it, it's likely to uh, to go wrong. But yeah, I think uh, overall the rest did the players uh, some good over the last week, going to Marbella. Uh, lots of them had lovely tans, John Ruddy, with his red little head. Um, so he's now kept 17 clean sheets as well this season, which is amazing. Uh, the, the top goalkeeper in Europe. Now I'm going to ask a question here, which could end up me getting slaughtered in the comments, but I, I'm going to raise the question. Is there a good argument to have Connor Cody in the England World Cup squad? He has been a complete revelation. He completely understands that sort of role as a sweeper and he's so good on the ball. His passing is ex excellent. And I really do think that he will progress with us into the Premier League and be our captain in the Premier League, hopefully, and be the rock on which our defence is built. And I think there is a good argument for him to be involved in the England squad. If Gareth Southgate wants to play this three at the back system, is there a better English player in that sweeper role than Conor Cody? Let me know what you think about that in the comments section down below. Don't forget to drop a like on this video and subscribe to, to the channel if you haven't already. And I'll see you at some point next week. Come on the Wolves. Goodbye. <laughs>